Hey, Mike here. So most of my content revolves around Obsidian. I don't let that stop me, however, from trying to find ways to evolve. That's why I'm going to look at Reflect today. One thing that already hits me straight off the bat, it mentions AI integration, not to mention the website, the look and feel of it looks amazing built for speed networked notes there is an ios app end-to-end -end encryption calendar integration which allows you to keep track of meetings and agendas this is the first thing that i've seen so far of these other four tidbits they've mentioned that seems unique to this app because obsidian is built for speed you can sync your notes in it obviously you have network notes famous obsidian graph is a legendary feature of it it has an ios app and you're able to do end-to-end -end encryption fairly easily the one thing that i do wish obsidian had natively is a calendar integration it has publishing which obsidian does as well but here it also says that you can do it with one click now i wonder how extensive or customizable more so this is can i publish this to for example my custom website i'm definitely going to look into this instant capture with uh saving snippets from your browser and kindle so this just seems like readle to me like a readle plugin or something and frictionless search so easily recall and index past notes and ideas so hopefully this is a fuzzy search Notes with an AI assistant. Okay. Reflect uses GPT-4 and Whisper from OpenAI to improve your writing, organize your thoughts, and act as your intellectual thought partner. Interesting. How to use AI to take better notes. And it has one bullet point here. What can LLMs like GPT do specifically for note taking? It says click to see magic. Let's see what happens. All right. So it has a little AI button and it starts to answer the question. And you can replace that question with whatever is generated. You can transcribe voice notes with human level accuracy, generate article outlines from your scattered thoughts. This is a very interesting one. I want to see the quality of this. List key takeaways and action items from your meeting notes, fixing grammar, spelling, all right, and then save your own custom prompts. Give your brain superpowers so you can mirror the way your mind works by associating notes through backlinks, okay? Your thoughts are connected. Backlink your notes to make everything easily searchable. Record your ideas and to-dos easily so you never miss a thing. Interesting. Never lose information. Collect your web snippets, Kindle highlights, and important links all in one place. Quickly find them again from any device. Hardened security. The contents of your notes are end-to-end -end encrypted. No one else can read them, not even us. And let's see, get more out of your meetings. So it seems like you can keep track of all your meetings and what was discussed. I do wonder if this means that you are able to record the meetings and have them automatically transcribed. That would be a killer feature. Use Reflect with other apps, Zapier, Readwise, as I mentioned earlier. No matter what your profession is, you are most likely going to find benefit using all of these. These integrations being highlighted is a very good sign. It shows me that the person who made this app or the people who made this app, whatever, they are note takers. What else do we have down here? All right, loved by thinkers. Learn how to take great notes at our academy. Huh, they have an academy and a nice little course. That's a very nice addition. I love that. So I think that this is a great start. I love the design of the website. I would prefer an easy download now button instead of a start your 14 day trial. I want to try the application first. So I'm going to instead go here and now we can click macOS, Apple Silicon, get this downloaded. And all right, so I opened up the application and the first thing that I'm hit with is a sign in required. And you can sign in slash sign up, right? Let's do that. And it says processing. Here we go. So we are now officially signed in to the Reflect application. So this is the first thing that I see once I have logged in here. I'm actually going to make this full screen. And let's see, username. So of course, system sculpt. Cool. I generated a password and now we can create an account. So let's click create. And now we've received a recovery kit. So I saved it. And now the first thing that it's asking me to do is to actually log in. Right off the bat, my impressions here are that this is a very security first application. Not only is there an authentication with a Google or Apple account, but you're also logging into your vault or whatever this is called, folder, directory, but you're logging in again, basically, with your password and username. Maybe they call it a graph because that's what it's labeled here as graph. 
Regardless, let's type in our password here and sign in, and we're in. This is the first look at the Reflect application. We have some starter notes here. The first thing that I'm going to check personally is if there is any form of a plugin system. Let's see here. Profile. You're able to input your OpenAI API key. You automatically have a transcription helper text, which that's amazing. That's a great feature to have. I'll go through these settings a little more in depth later. Let's go into connections. You're able to connect your Google, Office, or Apple accounts here. You have your daily journal template, a person, a company. You can have, I'm sure, another template for a meeting. Then you have billing, of course. And here, as I mentioned, you have your graphs. So that's what they call these. They don't call them vaults, they call them graphs. You have what's called a graph identifier, a graph name, and then a password. Cool. Here you have daily notes, all notes, so you can see every single one of the notes, and a map of how things are connected. You have a little to-do list here that shows you cool things to consider doing, tips and tricks. Now, I'm not too sure where these pieces of data are stored. For example, there's no images folder. I suppose an important thing that I have to ask first is, how are we storing all of this information? Are these, for example, Markdown files? Am I able to access these documents natively from, for example, my command line? Am I even able to use Reflect in an offline way? These are questions that, in my opinion, should be answered right off the bat. For example, I can't right-click on any of these files and open in folder as I can in Obsidian. I have no clue where these files are being stored. Let's see, Reflect, Settings, is this truly all online? Let's see, if I go into all notes, can I right click one of these things? Okay, I can select them. I can trash the note, but I can't open wherever this specific note is located. Let's see what happens if I turn off my internet here. So I have no internet connection right now. So I restarted the application and it's still showing me the note that I was just in, but still I have no clue how I can take a look at my notes in a native way. Okay, so I just found these settings. So you can import notes. You can import them as JSON, Markdown, if you are coming in from Obsidian, for example. And you can also export your notes. Look, I think that Reflect is a wonderful starter app if you're just getting into note-taking. If you want to learn a system instead of creating a system that is built for you, then Reflect is the perfect choice. The same idea goes for apps such as Notion. Those are systems that you have to learn. The main reason why I love Obsidian is that you can shape it into whatever works best for you. I have to keep in mind, I may be a little bit biased because of course this channel name is called System Sculpt. So I'm always going to go for the system that allows for the most customizability. The things I really like about Reflect are its simple settings. That's why I mentioned that it's the perfect app for note-taking beginners. It has a very modern look and feel, and its AI-first integration gives me high hopes for its future because I can see that it's really forward-thinking when it comes to how AI models, both text generators and things such as whisper technology, all come together to create a beautiful note-taking environment that makes it feel fun to take notes, which in my opinion is the most important thing when you're taking notes. As for the reasons why I'm passing on Reflect and sticking with Obsidian, you can distill all of this into two words. No customization. There's no plugin system. There's no Vim mode. There's no customizable keybinds no customization of your AI prompts. You can't toggle any of the features on or off. There's no ability to change the current AI prompts. And again, this is all great for simplicity's sake, but it's just another app that you have to learn how to use. And that's why it's just not for me. Thank you all so much for watching. A special thank you to all of my Patreon contributors, and I will see you again tomorrow.